What's going on guys, today I'm going to do a quick story show you some simple tools in Endu to get you started on making some really nice normals for what you're making. So for example, right now this only took me like 5 minutes, I just made this sort of like, um, I guess, plates with some screws in them, some scratches on them, just really simple, not like super detailed, but just uh, using the basic tools of Endu. Right, so first we are going to quickly export a plane that we're going to use for our mesh. So if you just grab that file export and export it as an obj if you can't export as an obj that's probably because you ain't got it enabled so go to settings preferences plugin manager and just find it where it says obj export and just export it all right so tick those two boxes to highlight over um, and then just export it to your desktop i've already done that um, and then let's go new project file new there we go just take that down for a second and click endo and you'll get this little thing pop up and we want to click new project you get this one pop up and create new project all right so let's see yeah, this is already up and to get that up you just push that button there click this now and go open 3do custom loader after doing that you'll get this menu come up go to your desktop or wherever you saved your plane and just open it up now you'll have your plane on here that you can start drawing on here to see the effects of it you don't need to do that if you have a model that's being UV mapped, you just work off of that obviously, but I'm just going to show you for a plane today. Alright, so first thing I'm going to show you is using select tool to make your um, your normals. So I'm going to select the whole of the whole of the area. So basically when you select somewhere, I'll show you this quick, when you select somewhere and you click like that, so you select somewhere click like that, you'll get the normals come straight in. And you have all these settings you can mess with. So we can go like this and it will make the corners sharp if you just mess between these three. You got all of these tools, and they will just give you different effects depending on what you want. Groove is quite nice because it makes it sort of sit in the spot. Like if I um, bring it back up, yeah, so it looks like it's more, more like a, um, like a some sort of plate in it. Um, and you can select so if I put it back to normal. You can select this tool, and you get, it's coming out at the moment. And if you go down, it will make it look like it's going inwards. Um, and you order curves, which these aren't too important, but you can like find better curves to do better things for whatever you want it to do. And then you've got blends, and this is mainly just for it, all your separate layers. So if you want it to overlap on top of a different layer, but we've only got one layer at the moment. So let's delete what we've got so far. So let's just delete group. Yep. And create a new layer. Always create a new layer. And we're going to select the whole outside, and then we're going to go like this and hold it, holding Alt, deselect all of that. Uh, should be fine. It's not going to be perfect. Select all that in part like that. Select all that in part like that. That is way not proportional. I'm not making this perfect. Just as perfect as I can from like what I can see. Still not right. Maybe about there. I'm not the best at Photoshop in the first place. There you go. That looks alright. Let's click that. And that's going to make us our like sort of our plates uh, we want them to dent inwards for example so I'm just doing this to show you sort of an example on how to get it done so yeah that looks good and uh, we don't want like this bit in the middle here I can't zoom in for some reason but we don't want like let me see then we don't want like this little bit in the middle here because it looks a bit weird so we could just go like this go like that and now it sharpens it all up for you by changing that to this oh refreshed itself um, we could if we want go for a groove but that's all dependent on what you want. It looks kind of nice, but for this example, I'm just going to go for that for a normal. I'm not going to change any curves, and then I'm quickly just going to do my my um, screws. There you go. God, words. So let's make a really big screw just to be over the top to show. So basically, we're still using the select tool for all of this. I'm just going to deselect there. Actually no, we're gonna go in the center, sorry, and deselect like there and select what you want. So I want obviously the screen outside and then like I mean I could always cross it, but I'm not that accurate with this. Like that's not in the center. Whatever, I'm not gonna make it perfect, I'm just showing you guys and then we'll go we can turn that into it. Oh that looks beautiful. <laughs> it's a bit big, I should have made it smaller, but yeah, you got that. And we can turn it on the size. Um, I'm going to set this to emboss and that will like sort of you sort of saw it 
Yeah, it's fine. Uh, turn up the contrast so it sort of sticks out more, maybe too much. Make it slightly soft. You just mess with your settings till you get a desired effect. That's perfectly fine. Now, just using normal Photoshop skills, skills, yeah. Uh, we're going to select this layer, and that's a bit big of a screw, so just Control T. So this is just basic Photoshop stuff. I'm just going to move that around. You apply, move it up to there, and you can just duplicate this layer. And you start just putting your normals anywhere you want them. As soon as you made one screw, you can make all of them. Okay, so we made all four of them. Let's one, two, three, four, and merge them together. Merge layers. And if we duplicate that, bring that down there. If we duplicate these two, bring them across. And then if we just merge all of them together, uh, God, my eyes are deceiving me. They get merge. And if we load back up the 3D mask, 3D mask, 3D preview, and none of them will come free because it always wants you to make a slight alteration to like one of the sliders. So we we'll just click on one of the groups and just sort of cut that. You'll get all of them pop in. There we go. And we got all the um, all the screws. Now I'm going to show you how to paint it on. So how to paint paint it on? Get your paintbrush. Go down here. We want to do a new sculpt layer. So do a new sculpt layer. Now in here, let's make this big, just for an example. So I could have done the screw like this if I really wanted to. But as you can see, like I could paint all of that in. And just do whatever I want with that. And then you can change all the, all the sizes. That's going to look awful on the map. Let's load up the map. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, it's actually underneath the screws. Let's put it on top. Um, grab the layer and just throw it on top. There you go. So yeah, it still has like the basic... Um, sort of Photoshop, you still use your basic Photoshop things you should know. You can just mess around with that, and obviously, I don't want it to look like that, so let's um, just delete that layer and we'll redo another one. So, use it, clicking that again to get a sculpt layer, and let's just make really small scratch marks. Let's just go like this, and just drag all over the thing. This isn't going to be perfect, it's just an example, so we're just going to scratch all over the thing. Or what looks like a scratch. I, I don't think it looks very good, but it's just to give an example. Right, and we can put that underneath the screws if we really want, because um, in a way, oh god, the scratches might not go actually onto the screws. It depends on what you want. Let's quickly change that so it registers. Whoa, so many scratches. Right, then it is, it's going to slant inwards because it's a scratch. And it looks really weird. And we're just going to turn on the opacity. A little bit more, turn up the contrast, turn down the size. There we go, so now we've got all of them very, let's turn it up a little bit, very fine scratches in the mesh. Turn it up, whatever. And that's pretty much how you just use the basic tools. So, pretty much what we've done is we've made like a uh, modular plate and we could tile texture that over with Recyc. Yeah, that's pretty much how you just use the basics to end you. I pretty much made this tutorial because everyone seems to explain it in an hour and a half, and I really don't think it would take an hour and a half to explain this. So yeah, I just did this quick tutorial to show you guys how to basically do the simple stuff in Endo, so you can sort of take these techniques and pretty much make anything just by changing your little options and just keep progressing and making building up um, on top of layers and making the normals better and better. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up if this helped you. Leave a comment if I missed something out that you'd like me to um, explain in maybe another video. Or just add it as a comment. Uh, once again, thank you very much and bye-bye.